What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach and Kellen out here at the Tola Expo 2022. And we're actually in the Samsung Experience Center, which actually will be here all year all year every year and they continuously update this experience center with the latest and greatest technology that they have to offer so we're going to do a quick little run through about all the things that you could expect to see if you are interested in checking out what samsung has to offer so Dream Media customers, typically we don't sell TVs um, just because we've dealt with things like fraud and whatnot in the past. But for our customers that are doing full system designs with Dream Media, we can also offer the television. So we're gonna be going through this setup here where they have all of the industry leading technology that Samsung has to offer and show you some of the stuff that they have. Let's go. This is cool. Biggest and baddest thing that you can buy. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off right here with the ultra short throw projection setup. We have the LS P7 and the P9 set up side by side. This is a really unique opportunity um, to see both of them in a side by side situation. You can see they have the one which is on a 100 inch and this one is on a 120 inch screen. Kellen, you wanna kinda of talk about some of the differences between these two models? Yeah, so um, like as Zach stated, this is the LSP7T with, uh, with Samsung. This is going to be up to 120 inches is what this projector is capable of. Um, this is right now shining onto a 100 inch Stuart film screen um, screen. And then we also have the salamander cabinet. So we offer all of this with Dream Media. This is all available and an option. Um, the salamander cabinets is a nice way to integrate and recess the projector to get the big image onto the wall and keep things looking nice. These also house um, all of your equipment with the, you know, you can get heating and cooling components in there as well to get all the uh, warm air out and exhaust out. But the 7T is a single laser unit, so it does use a color wheel to get all of the colors on screen. The big advantage of the LSP9T is you can set it closer to the wall. It can do a larger image with a different lens system, and it's a three laser. So um, you do not have a color wheel. Um, if you are maybe prone to the rainbow effect, you may notice it. It's not really prevalent there right now but this is going to be brighter. It is capable to produce a larger image and it is going to cover more of the uh, BT uh, PC3 color gamut for HDR. So one, one other thing, you know, if you're looking at that uh, wife acceptance pe factor, you know, the WAF, <laughs> WAF approval, <laughs> something to consider is how close they have to sit to the wall. Um, look at this P7, see how it's like really, far off the wall and it's only a hundred inches. Yeah. Um, whereas this one over here, we're sitting a lot closer, a lot more reasonable distance from the wall and we're at 120, which means if you did a smaller screen like a hundred inch, this uh, P9 would be even, even closer, closer to the wall. Pretty important to note. So that's projection, ultra short throw projection from uh, Samsung and like Kellen said, the salamander racks are super clean to keep all the equipment lasting for many years to come as well as keeping that ultra short throw projector kind of hidden and recessed down in there. Uh, and they come in all different colors and finishes guys. And we shipped out the whole nation on those products there. So let's move into this room here. This is going to be a prime example of something that we can do in a bedroom. Uh, distributed audio, two channel audio is gonna be necessary, you know, at least for music, as well as you might wanna put a TV up on the wall. You know, they're featuring the 85 inch uh, QN900B here, which is a nano QLED in 8K. Um, and we offer the full line, guys. Um, another thing you're gonna notice, underneath the bed is a motorized mount. This is something that Dream Media could also do for you. And we can put that like in a, console that actually sits like at the edge of the bed. Um, we even have mounts that pop out of the ceiling. So we can, we have a lot of different things uh, that we can offer to you to really spice up the house. And then they got a frame TV back there at the back of the wall. There's one hidden back here too, Zach. If you oh, I thought that was just a... <laughs> and there's one right here. So you guys know the frame TV has been one of our best sellers for years. You can switch out the 
bezel super easily. Actually, you can see, look, look at that. There's these little clips that typically they would put on, but since this is a demo room, they left it loose. But they're just magnetic and gives you a nice, clean look. Um, like a picture on the wall. But of course, you can watch sports and play games and do all that other fun stuff with it. All right, let's keep moving through, guys. Um, this is just a typical bedroom setup and shows you a few different variants on what you can do. So we keep moving through. This is a really cool space, guys. So in this room here, it's their art room. They have a bunch of different TVs set up, but they also have just regular art in this room. And last year I was here and actually picked out which ones were TVs and which ones were art, and I missed like a couple of the televisions. So I'm gonna take you into this room and it kind of shows off, you know, the art TV and how it really does blend into the room um, and appear to be art. It's pretty cool. So like you can see a lot of these, it's, it's hard to differentiate between what's art and what's the art TV, the frame TV. What do you think, Kevin? Can you tell? <laughs> Some of them are kind of borderline. You're like wondering. Uh, but you can clearly see like this one with the little sensor right there. This one here. That's vinyl. Yeah, so they have about 10 in here. It's kind of like supposed to mess with your head a little bit and show that it really does look like art. Let's keep moving along, guys. As you're moving through, this is an example of a kitchen and, you know, some technology that you would want to put into your kitchen. They got some speakers overhead. Obviously, distributed audio is going to be standard these days, guys. We want to give you complete and total independent zone control in every single room of the house. This is cool. If you don't want to mount the TV on a wall, um, it's a pretty cool design. Something a little bit, you know, out of the out chic, of the norm. A little modern. Yeah, a little modern, different. a little chic. Something you can just, you know, set on the ground. We got a few of the other leading models. We got the S95B um, over here in the 65 inch, and the same in the 55 inch. These are brand new. This is Samsung's OLED TVs. They don't. Nice. They usually do OLED, but this is a new uh, Q OLED that's going to be about 30% 30, 30 brighter than the average OLED. So this is a big deal for Samsung. It looks fantastic. And they've been, you know, the industry leader for quantum dot technology. And it'll be interesting to see how this performs next to a standard uh, OLED TV. But you're going to have to check out our channel if you'd like to see the in-depth video on the new OLED technology from Samsung. We're going to keep walking through. I do want to point out they got a little bar set up here. This is really common. A lot of our customers will have a bar where they can serve their guests. And what do you need at your bar besides alcohol? You need a television so you can watch your sports, right? Um, or you can even throw it up there to play some video games or the housewives. Either way, you got to have that technology. And of course, a couple speakers would be great as well. All right, let's keep on moving through, guys. Right here, they're featuring the QN85B. This is a Neo QLED, 75 inch. The Freestyle. The Freestyle. Yeah, so this is the uh, Samsung Freestyle. If you want a little projector for outside, shoot it on a quick wall or something. Um, I mean, It'll get the even, job done. It's got built-in speaker. You can point it down at the table. It'll automatically adjust the focus and reposition all the keystoning. So right there, look square. Shine it back on the wall. It'll be back to square and in focus in a couple seconds. That's pretty cool, man. That's what's cool about this experience center. So for my select customers that are um, interested in us doing like their whole house, um, where we're doing everything from distributed audio, cameras, all the TVs, theater room, you can come up here and we'll walk through the space with you and show you why Samsung is our go-to option. Uh, we, we love Samsung. We've been a dealer with them for years, guys, but we are not shipping Samsung TVs throughout the entire nation, um, only on select projects where we're actually doing the installation or one of our preferred installers are. So you can see they're showing off like an outdoor kitchen setup. They got the terrace TV up here above the fireplace. I made a separate video on this and also the terrace sound bar. Um, pretty sleek little setup pretty common for a lot of you guys who have a fireplace outside, especially down in Texas. This is the wall, guys. Check it out. This is the biggest and baddest thing that you can buy. Yeah, so you're looking at $400,000 here, but then, wow, I feel the heat off that. Whew. Um, but then 
you don't have to worry about projection and losing your light. It's super bright QLED, 8K. Man, that's hot. You feel that? Woo! You gotta make sure you have some ventilation in your theater room if you're gonna be putting that in. We have other options available. Like I said, for my average consumer, especially what they're trying to emulate here, an outdoor TV setup, that Terrace TV is an incredible value. I actually put that on my father-in-law's patio with the Terrace soundbar, and it sounded and looks amazing. Su super bright, super vibrant, and a pretty decent price point. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the Samsung Experience Center here in Dallas, Texas. We're at the World Trade Center, guys. Now, for our select customers, we would be happy to give you a tour of this space, like I said, if we're gonna be doing your entire home. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Now, if you guys like this type of content, subscribe, smash that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up. We got tons of content, giving you tons of inspiration as to different things that you can do in your own home. Till next time, this is Zach with Kellen at Dream Media. We'll catch you on the next one, guys.